Right now, a 1970s spacecraft traveling at 38,000 miles per hour through the void between stars has detected something that's rewriting our understanding of the cosmos. Voyager 1, launched when Jimmy Carter was president, recently transmitted data revealing 300 mysterious massive objects lurking in interstellar space, objects that shouldn't exist according to our current theories. After surviving computer failures, memory corruption and radiation levels that would kill a human instantly, this car-sized probe continues making discoveries that challenge everything we thought we knew about the universe beyond our solar system. The Impossible Mission That Refused to Die When NASA launched Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977, engineers expected it to function for exactly five years. The spacecraft was designed to study Jupiter and Saturn, then quietly drift into the cosmic void as a technological relic. Instead, this car-sized probe became humanity's most successful deep space explorer, operating for nearly five decades beyond its planned lifespan. The mission's longevity stems from brilliant engineering and fortunate timing. Voyager 1 exploited a rare planetary alignment that occurs once every 175 years, using gravitational assists from Jupiter and Saturn, to accelerate toward the outer solar system. This grand tour trajectory, conceived by mathematician Michael Minovich, transformed what should have been a routine flyby mission into an epic journey to the stars. Today, Voyager 1 operates with computer systems containing just 70 kilobytes of memory, less than a single smartphone photo. Its instruments run on power generated by decaying plutonium, producing less electricity each year as the radioactive fuel ages. Despite these limitations, the spacecraft continues transmitting scientific data across a distance so vast that radio signals take 22 and a half hours to reach Earth. The probe's survival represents one of engineering's greatest triumphs, proving that well-designed systems can exceed their creator's wildest expectations when pushed beyond all reasonable limits. Breaking Through the Solar System's Final Barrier On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 achieved something no human-made object had ever accomplished. It crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space. This boundary, located 121 astronomical units from the Sun, marks where our star's influence ends and the true void between stars begins. The crossing wasn't a simple transition, but a complex journey through what scientists call the Twilight Zone. Voyager 1 spent months navigating this region, where solar wind particles clash with the interstellar medium in a cosmic battle that creates unexpected phenomena. The spacecraft detected dramatic increases in galactic cosmic rays, mysterious particles from distant stellar explosions, while simultaneously observing sharp decreases in solar particles. What made this discovery revolutionary was its timing and precision. Scientists had theorized about the heliopause for decades, but Voyager 1 provided the first direct measurements of this cosmic boundary. The probe's instruments revealed that interstellar space contains particle densities 100 times higher than the protected region within our solar system. The heliopause itself proved more complex than predicted. Rather than a sharp boundary Voyager 1 encountered a thick, dynamic region where magnetic fields twisted and particle densities fluctuated wildly. This discovery forced scientists to completely revise their understanding of how our solar system interacts with the galaxy beyond. The Mysterious Hum of Deep Space In 2021 Voyager 1 detected something that sent chills through the scientific community, a faint monotonous hum emanating from the vast emptiness of interstellar space. This wasn't random noise but a persistent vibration from plasma waves in the interstellar medium revealing that the space between stars isn't truly empty. The discovery came from Voyager 1's plasma wave system, which had been monitoring larger eruptions from the sun that affect interstellar gas. When these solar outbursts quieted, scientists noticed a background hum that had been masked by the more dramatic events. Cornell University's Stella Koch Ocker, who led the research, described it as very faint and monotone because it is in a narrow frequency bandwidth. This cosmic hum provides unprecedented insights into the structure of interstellar space. Unlike the chaotic environment within our solar system, the interstellar medium maintains a steady, predictable rhythm that Voyager 1 can monitor continuously. The probe essentially acts as a cosmic weather station, reporting conditions in a region no spacecraft had ever explored. The hum's consistency allows scientists to track how interstellar plasma is distributed throughout the galaxy. Each variation in the signal reveals changes in particle density, magnetic field strength, 
and other properties of the medium through which Voyager 1 travels, this data is revolutionizing our understanding of galactic structure and the forces that shape space between stars. Computer Failures and Miraculous Recoveries Voyager 1's journey hasn't been without terrifying moments that nearly ended the mission forever. In November 2023, the spacecraft suddenly stopped sending coherent data, instead transmitting meaningless streams of binary code that completely baffled NASA engineers. The problem actually originated in the flight data system, where a corrupted memory chip prevented normal operations. Now, this failure was particularly alarming because it affected the spacecraft's ability to communicate with Earth. While Voyager 1's radio signal remained strong, indicating the antenna was properly aligned, the data it transmitted was just complete gibberish. Engineers faced the nightmare scenario of losing contact with humanity's most distant explorer, just as it was making groundbreaking discoveries in interstellar space. The solution, though, required extraordinary ingenuity. NASA engineers spent months analyzing the corrupted memory, eventually determining that about 3% of the flight data system's memory had been damaged. They developed a workaround that relocated essential code to undamaged memory sections, essentially performing remote surgery on a computer 15 billion miles away. The repair process was agonizingly slow. Each command took 22 and a half hours to reach Voyager 1, and responses took another 22 and a half hours to return to Earth. The Heliopause's Shocking Behavior Engineers had to wait nearly two days to learn whether each attempted fix had worked. The successful restoration of communications in April 2024 represented one of the most challenging remote repairs in space exploration history. Recent observations from Voyager 1 have revealed that the heliopause, the boundary of our solar system, behaves in ways that really contradict decades of scientific theory. Rather than maintaining a stable position, this cosmic border moves, shifts, and creates irregular angles that leave researchers struggling to explain what they're observing. The heliopause's instability became apparent when comparing data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Even though they were launched just weeks apart, the two spacecraft entered interstellar space six years apart, Voyager 1 in 2012 and Voyager 2 in 2018. This timing difference suggests the boundary itself moved significantly during that period. NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer satellite detected additional anomalies in 2014, including strange brightenings of energetic particles that just didn't match existing models. These observations suggest the heliopause experiences dramatic fluctuations driven by forces scientists are only beginning to understand. The boundary's complexity extends well beyond simple movement. Voyager 1's instruments reveal that the heliopause allows particles to flow both directions, solar wind particles escape into interstellar space, while galactic cosmic rays penetrate inward. This two-way exchange creates a dynamic interface that constantly reshapes the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy beyond. These discoveries have profound implications for understanding how stellar systems interact with their galactic environment and how cosmic radiation affects planetary atmospheres throughout the universe. Cosmic Rays and the Radiation Reality Voyager 1's journey through interstellar space has exposed the spacecraft to radiation levels that would be lethal to humans and devastating to most electronic systems. The probe's instruments detect cosmic ray intensities three times higher than those within our solar system's protective heliosphere. These cosmic rays aren't ordinary radiation but high-energy particles accelerated by distant supernovae and other violent cosmic events. They travel at nearly the speed of light and can penetrate solid matter, causing cumulative damage to electronic components over time. Voyager 1's continued operation in this harsh environment demonstrates the remarkable resilience of 1970s engineering. The spacecraft's cosmic ray subsystem has documented how these particles vary as Voyager 1 moves through different regions of interstellar space. The probe has detected three major cosmic ray events since 2012, each lasting hundreds of days and revealing complex interactions between solar activity and galactic radiation. These measurements provide crucial data for future interstellar missions. Understanding cosmic ray patterns helps engineers design shielding systems for spacecraft and habitats that might one day venture beyond our solar system. Voyager 1's radiation exposure data serves as a real-world test of how technology performs in the galaxy's most extreme environments. 
The probe's survival also reveals unexpected properties of interstellar space itself. Certain regions appear to provide natural shielding from cosmic rays, while others concentrate these deadly particles into focused beams that could threaten future explorers. The 300 Mysterious Objects Discovery So, recent analysis of Voyager 1's data has revealed the detection of uh, approximately 300 massive objects in the spacecraft's vicinity, sparking some pretty intense scientific debate about their nature and origin. These objects, identified through subtle gravitational effects and particle interactions, actually represent one of the most intriguing discoveries in the probe's 47-year journey. The objects seem to be distributed throughout the interstellar medium suggesting they're not isolated phenomena but, you know, part of a larger cosmic structure. Their masses range from asteroid-sized bodies to objects comparable to small moons, yet they emit no detectable light or radio signals. This invisibility makes them incredibly difficult to study using traditional astronomical methods. Scientists have proposed several explanations for these mysterious objects. They could be dark matter clumps, primordial black holes, or previously unknown types of interstellar debris. Another possibility is that they represent a new class of cosmic object that forms in the unique conditions of interstellar space. The discovery really challenges our understanding of what exists in the supposed emptiness between stars. If these objects are common throughout the galaxy, they could represent a significant fraction of the universe's missing mass. Their gravitational effects might influence star formation, galactic structure, and the evolution of planetary systems. Voyager 1's instruments continue monitoring these objects as the spacecraft moves through their region, providing a unprecedented data about their properties and behavior in the interstellar environment. Technology Surviving the Impossible Voyager 1's continued operation represents a triumph of engineering that, honestly, just defies all reasonable expectations. The spacecraft's instruments were designed to function in the relatively benign environment of the outer solar system, not, you know, the radiation-soaked void of interstellar space. Yet they continue operating at temperatures that would freeze most modern electronics solid. The probe's power system, which is based on radioisotope thermoelectric generators, produces less electricity each year as its plutonium fuel decays. NASA engineers have been forced to shut down non-essential systems one by one, prioritizing the most scientifically valuable instruments. Heaters that once kept components warm have been turned off, yet the instruments continue functioning despite experiencing temperatures hundreds of degrees below freezing. This survival really stems from the robust design philosophy of 1970s aerospace engineering. Components were built with massive safety margins and redundant systems that, honestly, modern cost-cutting measures often eliminate. The spacecraft's analog systems prove more resilient to radiation damage than the digital electronics that dominate contemporary spacecraft. NASA's ability to maintain Voyager 1 across such vast distances showcases the evolution of deep space communication. The deep space network's massive antennas can still detect the probe's faint signals, while sophisticated error correction algorithms ensure data integrity across the 22-and-a-half-hour communication delay. The mission's longevity provides invaluable lessons for designing future interstellar probes that must operate independently for decades or even centuries while traveling to nearby star systems. The Heliosphere's Protective Shield Voyager 1's observations have revolutionized our understanding of the heliosphere, the massive bubble of solar wind that surrounds our entire solar system. This protective shield, stretching 11 billion miles from the Sun, acts as cosmic armor that deflects most galactic radiation from reaching Earth and other planets. The heliosphere structure proves far more complex than scientists initially believed. Rather than a simple spherical bubble, Voyager 1's data reveals a dynamic ever-changing boundary that responds to solar activity, galactic magnetic fields, and the solar system's motion through space. The Sun's 450,000 mile-per-hour journey around the galaxy creates a bow shock where the heliosphere plows through the interstellar medium. This cosmic shield's importance really cannot be overstated. Without the heliosphere's protection, Earth would be bombarded by lethal cosmic radiation that could strip away our atmosphere and sterilize the planet's surface. The shield's effectiveness varies with solar activity. During solar maximum, increased solar wind strengthens the barrier, while solar minimum periods allow more galactic radiation to penetrate. 
Voyager 1's measurements show that the heliosphere's shape changes constantly as it encounters different regions of interstellar space. Dense molecular clouds can compress the boundary, while sparse regions allow it to expand. These variations affect the radiation environment throughout the solar system, potentially influencing climate patterns and biological evolution on Earth. Understanding the heliosphere's behavior helps scientists predict how our solar system will fare as it moves through different galactic environments over millions of years. Legacy of the Ultimate Explorer As Voyager 1 continues its eternal journey through the cosmos, its impact on human knowledge extends far beyond the data it transmits. The mission has fundamentally changed our perspective on our place in the universe, revealing both the vastness of space and the remarkable resilience of human ingenuity. The spacecraft carries the famous Golden Record, a collection of sounds, images, and messages from Earth intended for any extraterrestrial intelligence that might encounter it. While the chances of alien discovery remain infinitesimally small, the record represents humanity's first attempt at interstellar communication and, really, our hope for cosmic recognition. Voyager 1's discoveries have inspired numerous follow-up missions. The Galileo and Juno missions to Jupiter, the Cassini mission to Saturn, and planned missions to Uranus and Neptune all trace their origins to Voyager's initial reconnaissance. The probe's identification of potentially habitable moons like Europa and Enceladus has redirected the search for extraterrestrial life toward these icy worlds. The mission's longevity demonstrates that well-designed systems can operate far beyond their intended lifespans when supported by dedicated teams of engineers and scientists. NASA expects Voyager 1 to continue transmitting data until at least 2025, with some instruments potentially operating until 2030. Even after its instruments fall silent, Voyager 1 will continue traveling through the galaxy for millions of years, carrying its golden record as a testament to human curiosity and our desire to explore the unknown. The probe represents humanity's first step toward becoming a truly interstellar species. Voyager 1's journey from a five-year planetary mission to humanity's most distant explorer proves that the greatest discoveries often come from pushing beyond all reasonable limits. This remarkable spacecraft has revealed the true nature of interstellar space detected mysterious objects in the cosmic void and demonstrated that human ingenuity can overcome seemingly impossible challenges. As Voyager 1 continues its eternal voyage through the stars, it carries with it our hopes, dreams, and unquenchable curiosity about the universe. What other secrets await discovery in the depths of space? Share your thoughts below, hit that like button, and subscribe to Future Facts for more incredible space exploration stories. Until next time, keep looking up.